I Shalom. Want to give all praises to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kadash, the Ba'ansai Apostles, Slash Elders, which are GMS, and blessing and salutations to you, brothers. I can teach you in John, truth, and sincerity. Uh, um, you know, this, just today is a, this an open forum, you know, just um, set some up off the spirit. So, you know, um, of course, there's a lot of things going on. There's, there's the, uh, the wars and rumors of wars, the, uh, the uh, sanctions being put on Iran, the uh, the the gun control, uh, you know, um, the the insurrection of the people, the uh, famines in the land, the earthquakes, uh, specifically in Hawaii. Uh, there's there's a, a plethora of things going on uh, within the within uh, this globe, you know, and uh, the Lord said. Um, with, see here on um, Wisdom Revelations where it said he let loose the four angels you know That's in seven, uh, seven and one. I get Revelation seven and one, fucking chapter. This is the book of Revelation, chapter seven, verse one. It says, and after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth. Yeah, those four winds is not. It's not talking about actual winds, as though that they're holding back up a. a, a a gust of air, you know what I'm saying? These, these are the um, the prophecies or, or their jobs that they have to do, you know, because not only, because the scripture goes into, you know, they, their spirits created for vengeance, you know, um, things of, of that nature. Um, there's animals, um, you know, that, that are basically, you know, tear you apart, that's waiting on, you know, basically there's beings here that are orchestrated by um, spiritual entities, sometimes angels, sometimes themselves, to execute the Most High's will, according to prophecy. Because uh, 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 um, contrary to popular belief, people believe that you know, when bad things happen, that it is somehow just Satan doing what he want to do to people. But then you agree that the Book of Job exists, and you agree with Job, and you like to uh, exhort the, uh, uh, the Book of Job but at the same time, you, you don't want to acknowledge that the Most High has control over uh, angels and demons, okay? So every angel on this planet Earth has an assignment, all right? And uh, as it says in the book of Ecclesiastes, the Ecclesiastes uh, that the angels will fulfill that to the, to the uh, pinnacle of their ability, you know? Uh, if you could get that, that would be beautiful. And said they should they should not you know what I'm saying they they should not deviate or or, or, or you know what I'm saying or, or go against the will they should uh, uh, accomplish it in its perfection you know. All right, this is um the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter thirty nine. Make sure I get all of this. Yeah, yeah. Um. Yep, this is a good read. I'm so I'm start from verse 25. Uh, Ecclesiastes 39, 25. It says, For the good are good things create, created from the beginning, so evil things for sinners. Yeah, because um another thing that's contrary to popular belief is that there's uh, uh that everybody's equal and have a um, rightful chance at the kingdom of heaven, which is not true. The most high said he made vessels unto honor and vessels unto dishonor. He made things close to himself and made some other things he cursed and um and put aside. Alright. So so some people are there's angels are about protecting, namely the elect of Israel of the hundred and forty four which are the hundred and forty four thousand and a innumerable, innumerable multitude. Now the 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 angels through the request of the elect 
people come in the camp and uh, camp round about us, okay? Lord willing, we're amongst the elect, you know, but as far as two thirds of heathens or, or, or the wicked, you know, there's there's demons out there according to wrath. Hell, there's even demons out there according to our um according to wrath that are that are upon um dealing with us when you're talking about curses. Because uh like the brother was talking about Kanye West a while ago and, and how he says slavery is a choice. It slavery seems like a choice, but there's there's entities and there's curses, really for first off and foremost it's curses that are prohibiting, uh, um, that are not uh, allowing us to flourish. Because the scripture said, we open a business, it should not flourish. You know what I'm saying? There ain't no technical thing. That ain't because we're not intelligent. That's because it's a curse put on us from your how about you, y'all shot. Therefore, there's an angel that, that, uh, that, uh, um, uh, um, make sure that happens. You know, there, there's angels out there that make sure that you don't excel in your business. You know, there, there's entities out there that make sure that you ain't, ain't nothing ain't nothing popping, you know? And, and we may think, it, oh, oh man, that's, that's, you know, because you're not doing it this way, that way. No, there's the angel that have somebody come in and steal, they have an angel you get on somebody or a demon get on somebody and lie or, or, or rob your store or, or um, don't want to, you know, the Lord could put a spirit on of the, the neighboring, uh, the, the the roundabout neighborhood to not even want to participate in your store. Because that's what Jake Manley go through is a lack of support. You know, just like the uh, the brother Yashirama uploaded the video showing how the fact that Moab, the reason why um, they had somebody complaining to Moab, which he was a CEO, is a, um, I think he's a millionaire or billionaire, um, but they was complaining to him about allowing him basically um, showing favor to his own kind, by his own kind, I mean his own nationality, other Moabites, by hiring them and giving them opportunities. You know, and he went on and said basically that the things that we go through, you know what I'm saying, is similar and not as ex uh, extreme as what the um, African Americans go through. Talking about the uh, Negro, Latino, Native Americans. But he said, basically, we're not going to march. We'll leave that up to them. That's their thing. We don't want to disrespect them with that. You know what I'm saying? He said, the difference between them and us is that when we send our kids to school, we fund them. You know what I'm saying? We fund that school. You know. Whether elementary, high school, or cop, um, collegiate uh, um, establishment, they fund that. They buy uh, more buy cars, the Chinese cars, Japanese-made cars. They 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 go to their own restaurants. They eat their own food. They they um go into the same neighborhood complexes together. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to worry about police protecting, you know, the, each other when they when they are policing themselves. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to worry about their businesses flourishing. Now that, my point is, is that is a whole mindset. You know what I'm saying? That they've established that we can easily um, put on ourselves. But what we do, we, you got black on black, like watching this one video where, where Jake was holding another Jake in a headlock, while another Jake is just beating him unconscious. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you, you rarely see if you can find a video like that of Moab doing Moab that, man. You know what I'm saying? You know why? Because it's a curse put put on our people, man. It ain't because we're wrathful and, 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 and hateful and all that. No, it's a curse, man. The Most High took the Holy Spirit from the bulk of our people for them to act like that. You know? Whereas Moab, they're, they're not more intelligent than us. You know, they're not uh, uh, more stronger or, or spiritually inclined or anything. We're the pinnacle of, of every race of, upon planet Earth. You know what I'm saying? But the difference is that the, our people got a, a, a docile spirit on them. And that's because of the curses. Which leads to what we're talking about with the four angels, man. Those four angels are controlling certain prophecies and things that are supposed to happen. Just like all this wars and rumors of wars. The reason why it hasn't become an all-out war is because the Most High got the got them held back by those winds, man. You know.
This is um, back from Ecclesiastes 39 and 26. It says, the principal, principal thing for the, the whole use of man's life are water, fire, iron, and salt, flour of wheat, honey, milk, and blood of the grape, and oil, and clothing. All these things are, are for good to, uh, to godly, so to the sinners, they're turning to evil. Yeah, so these same things, they're good to the godly. Just like, you know, I was hearing about flour, wheat, you know, salt, you know, uh, uh, um, these things are good for us. But in these times, those same things are evil unto us. Now, on a, on a, the actual note of, unto it, you know, what, what I mean by evil is it makes you unhealthy and things like that. And people are trying to go to non-GMO, non-gluten and all that. But the Lord said that's good for us. You know, not gluten and all that. But basically, flour is good for us, which contains you know, those formulas, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when people are high blood pressure and things like that. What you're saying, brother? It's a, you know, the honey, too. The, the, the honey has a lot of properties to it. Yep, honey. You know what I'm saying? When these times, a, a lot of a lot of us will try to avoid that because, you know, really the wicked turned it into evil. Right. They're making it processed, you know, processed salt, you know, uh, 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 processed sugar, you know, fake honey. High fructose this and, 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 and a lot of gluten and this and that and, and all, all pesticides and things like that you know so the things that the Lord basically the things that the Lord made good it turns into evil for the wicked man you know since there be spirits that are created for vengeance which in their uh, in their fury lay on sore strokes so there are spirits that are created that's, the, that's what they're created for. Just like Yahweh Shai was created to be the son of man. He is no, and no, he is not the most high. All right? And the most high, Yahweh, and Yahweh Shai are two different spiritual entities. Okay? They did, the, the most high didn't split himself into two and then come down to earth and was in heaven at the same time because he's miraculous like that. You know, if you want to get technical, he did split himself into two. Yahweh Shai. He also split himself into the spirits that are into our bodies. All right? Everything came from him, so it, it's just like it, it, it came from him. Everything was born of the Most High, man. Huh. Huh. So you're talking about, yeah, he come from where everybody does. But you know what I mean? They don't make, they don't make us the Most High. All right? We're, we're created inferior everything everybody every spirit is created inferior to the most high and not only inferior but we're under uh, um undeniable obedience unto the most high spiritually undeniable obedience it's just that when we come into these bodies and the most high wants to do one thing by us being in his flesh and, and, and being cast into that we have that death that curse of death upon us then we deviate you know Um, it says, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. Mm -hmm. And appease means to, to pretty much to please, you know, to make to make light, you know. So they they like the brother saying, going into these these different spirits that the Most High created to hold back the four winds of the earth and certain judgments, you know, when that when that time comes for them to fulfill that, they're not gonna you know they're not gonna lack. Man. You know? Yeah, they're gonna appease. They're gonna appease the Most High's wrath. They're gonna appease what He wants to be done. All right. So, 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 if somebody needs to go, somebody needs to be um, wiped out this planet Earth. Somebody needs to be beat half to death, or 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 get sick with cancer or, and cerebral palsy and paralysis and all things like that. That's that's a that ain't nothing but an angel from the Lord, man. You know. Ain't nothing but the angel for the Lord uh, uh, causing that situation to come about, man. You know? Whether it's an angel, you know, um, a demon getting on a woman, enticing you. A woman entices you, you lay with her, and you catch an incurable disease like AIDS or something like that. You know? At the same time, your spirit got weak. A demon got in your ear made you get weak to it. You know, things like that. You know what I'm saying? These these type of things happen, man. You know? This is not just 
our choice and you becoming strong and, and you, it's not a, it's not under our control. We try our best in the Lord to take care of the rest. All right, you can try to be the best person on planet Earth but without the Most High. Is it, it is um, something that that's not um, that you would not be able to accomplish. You know, simple and plain. You don't have control. That's what Esau thinks. You know, uh, and if I may add, you know, going back to that uh, verse twenty-seven, where it says, "All these things are from good to the godly, so to the sinners they are turned into evil." So. Once it says that, it starts going into the different spirits and you know how the Most High sends judgment, and that's they turn that into evil. The people in this world turn that into evil, man. You know mm -hmm. they say, oh well, no, my God wouldn't do that, or you know what I'm saying. When the Most High, it says in the Book of Amos, have there been evil done in the city, and the Most High have not done. It. You know, so nothing happens upon this earth without the orchestration of the Most High, man. You know, and that's that's what a lot of people get misconstrued. They look at us like we're wrong, man. We're just teaching us what the Scriptures tell us, man. You know, this is what the Most High is capable of. He, he's going to destroy people. He sends out uh, these, these different calamities that's going on throughout the earth. Who do you think is orchestrating it, man? You know, it's not just happening. The Most High, he, he has these angels going through the earth, and they're creating these different uh, um, so-called um, natural disasters. You know, these things are orchestrated by the Most High, man. And that's the people don't want to give credit unto the Lord, man. Yeah, all credits go see a how about shot. You know what I'm saying? All respect, all glory, all honor is due to you. How about shooting out a shot? You know? Uh, reading on in Ecclesiastes, it says, uh, verse 29, it says, Fire and hell and famine and death, all these were created for vengeance. Teeth of wild beasts and scorpions, serpents and the sword, punishing the wicked to destruction. They, uh, they shall rejoice in his commandment. And they shall be ready upon earth when need is. Yeah. And in, scriptures, in the beginning of scripture it says every spirit is created for vengeance. So animals have spirits in them, you know, to, to, to execute the Lord's wrath, man. You know, they don't instinctively, like they say, the animal has an instinct, you know. They don't instinctively do things. They have a spirit in them. That, that they listen to what the, the Most High say. It's just that that animal is a, it, it, it's a, 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 it's a, it's not like a Buddha type of thing where a person could be an animal. You know what I'm saying? Their spirit could go into an animal and however he was in this life. That was, you know, your spirit, like I said, the, the spirit of subject, uh, a prophet is subject unto the prophets, you know, Whatever tribe, whatever tribe or nationality you are, if you're an Israelite, you'll come back as an Israelite. You might come back as a different tribe, which is possible. But you're not going to sit there and come back as no fucking beetle or a, a pterodactyl or whatever you want to call it, man. Yeah. You know, you're going to come back as what you were meant to be, as what your spirit was created for. Animals have spirits and they, they inhabit animals, man. And them animals are supposed to do what they're supposed to do. You know, it says, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is, and when their time has come, they shall not transgress His word. Yeah, they shall not transgress the Most High's word. Okay, but they're gonna execute whatever needs to be done upon planet Earth, and it's not to your uh, um, whatever you deem should be done. It's not according to your strength or how things should work. You're not in control because if that angel, if the Most High said, you know, um, hey. You know, take all take all his riches, or 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 bless him with this. You know what I'm saying? Ain't nothing you can do about it. You think it is? Because the Most High can have you. You know what I'm saying? You got options. You know, the Most High put the spirit on you to choose a particular woman, or or for women a particular man. You know, the Lord will put the spirit on you to choose that particular person. Because what the scriptures say, what the Most High put together cannot be broken. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It ain't what you, oh, I was interested in that person. That was me. No, that was the Most High putting the spirit on you to be interested in that person. You know? Uh, back in Ecclesiastes. Oh, and uh, I just, just, just one quick point, you know, uh, that you made about the, the different animals. You know, and that proves, you know, once again, what the brother's saying, as far as them being certain spirits on these animals, because there's a point in time, if you go into the um, 
Now, if you go back into the books of the law, we had um, authority over the animals. Yeah, we was in league with the animals. Yeah, we were in league with them. And they weren't attacking because, you know, that, that, that was that state that we were in. But, you know, through transgression, you know, the most high put the, he let he put these spirits on these different animals to carry out judgment whenever need be. Yeah, how you how you think how you think that uh Noah got all those animals on the on the ark <laughs> without getting, you know, um mauled half to death by a grizzly bear or something of that nature. Yeah, exactly. You know? Just being on the ark with those animals. An alligator, you know, uh, uh, which don't have to they don't really need that 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 uh, land mass like that, but you know, you got animals that do, that live on land, that'll tear you apart, man. You know, they they rip you to shreds. It's, um, verse 32, Ecclesiastes 39 and 32, it says, therefore from the beginning, I was resolved and thought upon these things and have left them in writing. All the works of the Lord are good, and mm -hmm. He will give every needful thing in due season. And He will give every needful thing in His due season. Every, all the works of the Lord is good, even having somebody being torn apart, because it's a reason. They deserve it. People are just too carnal. That's why the Lord said, my ways are higher than your ways, man. Like, like the Lord could be tearing apart a person that, that'll be, that'll shoot, shoot half the fucking state up, man. You know? Just because he did to the, that individual at 12, he knew what type of spirit that that person had on him. You know what I'm saying? Or the Lord just punished him for their past life or what they've done in their own life, man. You know? Or it's just, it's just set up like that, just to make a point. Yep. You know? Don't say do what he want, man. Yeah, <laughs> like, like sometimes you got to make a point to show somebody, look, man, if you do this, this type of things that happen or... Look how foul y'all living. You know? It says, so that a man cannot say this is worse than that. For in time they shall all be well approved. And therefore praise ye the Lord with uh, with the whole heart and mouth and bless the name of the Lord. Mm hmm Because it's all, it all exhortation to y'all by Shimei Alright? So that was it. Yeah, let's get back to the revelation. Uh, back in the book of Revelation, chapter 7, and verse 1. And after these things, I saw four angels standing on the four corners of the earth, holding the four winds of the earth, that the wind should not blow on the earth, nor, uh, nor on the sea, nor on any tree. And I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living power. And he cried with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was given to hurt the earth and the sea saying, Hurt not the earth, neither the sea, nor the trees, till we have sealed the servants of our, our power in their foreheads. Yeah, and that's talking, what, what, what are the, the, main, the, the main winds that are being held back? These last prophecies, man, this, this, the last trump, man. The, 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 uh, uh, the famine, the, 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 the big time famine, the, the um, third world's war, um, the uh, martial law, the FEMA camps, even though there are certain brothers that are that are that are going to succumb to that, you know, such as it could be such as ourselves or any brother, you know. But at the end of the day, you know, the Lord said, hold hold all these all these wins until the elect is sealed. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Until all the elect wakes up, man. Now now not now that you're seeing these prophecies moving, how they're moving, whether we whether we see 144,000 elect doesn't mean that they don't exist a good signal is by how these prophecies come to pass man you know yeah, right. and, and another fact is that how the most high told uh uh elisha that he said you know um they have they have been on um, what's it seven thousand that have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal, man when this thought he'll by when he thought he'll by himself man all right so that shows that we we think we're by ourselves. If he thought he was by himself, and he said, "Look, I got I got a certain number that that's been out there, they're doing the work," and he didn't know. All right. It says, um, "And I heard the number of them which were sealed. And there were sealed in a hundred and forty and four thousand, 
of all the tribes of the children of Israel. Of the tribe of Judah were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Reuben were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Gad were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Asher were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Naphtali were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Manasseh were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Simeon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Levi, there were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Issachar were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Zebulon were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Joseph were sealed 12,000. Of the tribe of Benjamin were sealed 12,000. Yeah, it, these, these are all Israelites. And the tribe of Esau, the tribe the tribe of uh, uh, the Dan, uh, the, the tribe of uh, the Philistines and and no, it, it's all Edom, um, it's all Israelites. No Edomites, no Moabites, you know, no Ammonites, no Hamites, no Japhites, none, none of that. It's all Israelites. All right, that's that's one indication, you know. But even though niggas like to use that innumerable, innumerable multitude, but at the same time, through through that bullshit rap doctrine, you saying Israel Israel is going to be left. Cause they gotta go through Jacob's trouble, and then that new multitude is just gonna get beamed up like this. More better than Israel, man. Yeah. You know, which is backwards. You're just using things to fit a story. You know. It says in this I beheld and lo, a great multitude, which no man could number, of all nations and kindreds, and peoples uh, and people and tongues, stood before the throne and before the land. Clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Yeah, those that, that innumerable multitude is talking about Israelite foreigners. You know, Israelites in different lands, even Israelites in the same land. You know, because 144,000 is all all prophets. You know, that's the ones that 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 got the, the knowledge, the wisdom, and understanding, of, uh, and the Holy Spirit namely on them to, to prophesy and do the work. And then the innumerable multitude is those ones that believe, but they're not, you know, if they're not in these lands. Uh, or if they are in these lands, they're not doing the same thing as the prophets. Okay. Then it says, um, and cried with a loud voice, saying, Salvation to our power, which sitteth upon the throne and unto the Lamb. And all the angels stood round about the throne, and about the elders and the four beasts, and fell before the throne on their faces and worshipped the Most High, saying, Amen. Blessing and glory and wisdom and thanksgiving and honor and power and might be unto our power forever and ever our month. Yeah. So so basically, those four winds are all are all for the elect, man. Those four winds being held back is not for the world, okay? Is that is they should have more than that, right, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. It says, um, and one of the elders answered, saying unto me, What are these which uh, arrayed in white robes, and whence came they? And I said unto him, Sir, thou knowest. And he said to me, These are they which uh, came out of great tribulation, and have washed their robes, and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. Yeah, yeah. So those that came through great tribulation, what is the, what is the uh, uh, the so-called rap, the rapture? That's supposed to be the great tribulation. What are you talking about? You get beamed up before this event of the great tribulation and that you avoided the rapture. No, the ones that got the white robes are the ones that went through it. Okay? Because then at that time, you're going, to, you're going to need your shot. That's the only thing that's going to clean you. You know, that's the only thing that's going to have you prepared to do what you got to do. Your is the only channel to the to the most high that we have. And why? Because why would he be why would he be gearing us up for something that we're never going to go through, man? Why would, why would he build us all the way up and then when that time comes, all right, y'all get up out of here. Y'all ain't going to go through none of this. No, we, you know, as a hopeful elect, we're going to go through it, man. Mm -hmm. Like, that, that that makes no sense, man. Yeah, and it's an honor, man. You know, it's an honor to go through something and, and, and be able to be in the same, um, uh, not ranks as being equal, but being in the same, amongst the, the same platoon as Yahweh Shai, he's a, our commander. We we all, everybody in that platoon are, are battle tested. You know what I'm saying? They they proved themselves worthy to be in that rank, man. Uh -huh. You know, not nobody that just like, oh man, I wish I was there. You know, telling them type of stories. You know, and the people that wasn't <laughs> there did more. They died. 
you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, therefore, uh, therefore are they before the throne of the Most High and serve him day and night in his temple. And he that sitteth on the throne uh, shall dwell among them. They shall hunger no more, neither thirst any more, neither shall the sun light, uh, neither shall the sun light on them nor any heat. For the Lamb, which is in the midst of the throne, shall feed them and shall lead them unto living fountains of water. And the Most High shall wipe away all tears from their eyes. Uh, no, no, nah, nah, that's that's pretty much to end, to end to that. So it's all about the elect. It's all about bringing the elect in. You know what I'm saying? And these prophecies are coming to pass because the elect are being sealed. You know what I'm saying? The elect are being sealed, and you could tell. You could tell from the, the vision of the people, the separat the separatism. You could tell by even the ordinary Jake's waking up, like the Most High said, as as the um the beginning is. So, um, with plain signs, so shall the end and be. You know, the same way in that the reason why why Black Panther did so so much as far as ratings in the movie, because even though Jake don't know any better, they do. Uh, uh, they are coming back to a self recognition, uh, recognition of, of wanting to be um, so called black. You know, they want to be proud of who they are. You know what I'm saying? Even the, the um, cool ones, you know, and that's the, the more general way to do it is through movie and through song and through playing. But the true worshipers are going to do it the right way. They're going to go, we're going to go back to our heritage, you know, same way we wear our garments, the way we uh, um, groom ourselves, you know, not more in the corners of our beard or the corners of our head, you know, things of that nature. You know, our dietary um, ways, the way we um, carry ourselves through life, man. All right? Yeah, that's something, uh, something I was looking for. Um, I actually had that, that second measure that you mentioned. Yeah, um, yeah. Second measure, the ninth chapter. And um, I got you from the top. You can never just read, jump into that, man. Yeah. Uh, second measure is nine and one. It says, he, me he answered me then and said, measure thou the time diligently in the soul. When thou seest part of the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Yeah, yeah. And not only is it when the Most High begin to visit, it's a culmination of things. Things are going to happen. Prophecies are going to start coming to pass. And the elect being sealed. That's that's like, you know, that's when the east wind blows. You know, uh, uh, the storm is, you know, a storm is not. It says, therefore, uh, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from, from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. Mm -hmm. For like as all that is made in the world had the, be the beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Yeah, the end is manifest. It's manifest. There ain't no way that it's just going to pop up. Oh, shit. Martial law just came from nowhere. Like, I didn't even hear about these FEMA camps and and, and, and wars and rumors of wars. It's, it's all right in front of your face. Right in front of everybody's face. All right? Yeah. They, they're trying to build a... a, a they, they're bringing the embassy back to a, a Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and they're going to build a temple there. I had someone telling me, um, yeah, man, um, a friend of mine was like, yeah, man, I had this church sermon today. It was excellent. You know, you should check it out. You know, um, like I said, I checked out one of them, but I'm like, nah, man, you know, like it's more important things going on than the positivity in your day. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's, you know, you, you do realize that they're moving an embassy to Jerusalem and they're going to build a third temple and that's not the third temple. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's not, we are the third temple, the body. You know, beginning with Yahweh, Shai, and Peter. And we all are considered stones, you know? But they're building a third temple, all right? They're, they're, uh, 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 um, the America is, is, is demanding, um, and I, I forgot, I, I think it's Iran. They're demanding Iran pay a billion dollars for 9-11 when they, uh, I believe it was Afghanistan, uh, um, I think it was Afghanistan or um, Saudi Arabia, I get them too mixed up, that were behind that. You know what I'm saying? 
uh, the 9-11 attacks. You know, but then they turn around and say, oh, you know, now they turn around putting sanction, sanctions on them. But then, and then you got North Korea and South Korea uniting together. All right, you got that going on. Then you got uh, um, somebody just dropped a dollar, the American dollar, and, 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 and went to gold, you know, um, dealing with China, dealing with business in China and Russia, man. You know, then you got civil unrest amongst Negroes, Latino, Native Americans. Native Americans got all these pipelines going through their lands with these reservations and things like that. Jake getting shot up, you know, things of that nature. Wall being built, you know, showing the disdain for the Latin tribes. You know, all, all this going on. And, and, and then you got a, 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 tr a figure like Trump that's, that's reinvigorating that old crack a, 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 a mentality, you know what I'm saying? Bringing it back to life. Right man for the job. Man. You know, re reanimating their spirits, man. <laughs> you know, and, and, and people just think your, your day, you need to be focused on positivity throughout your day. It don't matter if you have a positive or a regular day. These prophecies are gonna to come to pass and if you ain't aware of them, then you wanna be shit out of luck. You know? You're supposed to be occupied in prophecies, not your day, not how you're doing. It ain't about you. You know, because if it really was about you, you'd be doing things to really save your life, not um, indulge in the, in the um, delicacies of Babylon, man. Right? You know, or just just tell you what, just just cast off on um, the name of the Most High and the Son, and, and go do what you're gonna do because you can't serve the Most High and Mammon, man. Right? All right, you, you said put off the things of this world. Having a positive day, the things of this world. Much knowledge increases bitterness. You know? It ain't about being comfortable along the ride to salvation. It's all about, like like the apostle said, to this thing is all about suffering, man. You know? To endure, to have faith means to suffer, man. That's what it goes back to. Okay? It says, um, uh, verse 6, it says, Even so the times of the highest have plain beginnings and wonders and powerful uh, powerful works and endings and effects and signs. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, mm -hmm. whereby ye have believed, shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. Yeah. We shall see the salvation if we have faith and we have works. That's how we're going to escape. You know? This ain't no just, I just sit there and do what I want. And, and, and as long as I call upon the name of the Lord or I just think it's a game and half-ass it. Like, your life is at stake. You got to act like it. You know? Like when they about to fire your ass. <laughs> the means of you getting the job at work on time is unbelievable. You know, the way you can get to work on time is unbelievable, man. You get there, you make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, kind of. Yeah. And, and, and so like, you know, just going to work, the, 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 um, incredulities can influence you. You can go to that job and think, man, this job, all right, man, I like this job, man. Pays all, pays all good. I can make it happen. Cause I had it happen to me before. I had a, I had a um, pretty decent job at a point, and, and let you know Jake influence me. Cause Jake is Jake is some lazy ass niggas at a point, man, or, or some murmurers, man. You know, like they was in the wilderness. You know, you go to the job. Can you believe you only get such and such amount of raise a year? And man, man, they working the hell out of us. And it's like, man, we shit. We ain't doing no more sitting on the forklift. You know, but you hang, you get to hanging around them and talking to them. It's like these motherfuckers, and they make you hate the job. You know, when you came in the door the first week, like this job, all right, I could do this. I could do this for a very long time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But then they get in your head, like, yeah, yeah I, hate, I hate this job. This shit whack. Of course, all jobs are whack. You know, but that just shows you in this world, I'm comparing the work to being in this truth, man. You know, or, or really being in this world, man. When you focus on y'all by shimmy out shy, you like it. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I could do this for a long time. I could do these lessons. I can read. I can study. I could 
oh, oh, keep the commandments to my best abilities. I can do this. And then you get around worldly niggas. And, yeah, man. Can, can you believe that, you know, we got to sit here and do this? Or why we can't have fun? Or let's go do this. And then you're like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's why it says, what, what fellowship? Uh, uh, have a sheep with a um, hyena, man. You know? Like, you, you, you know you're supposed to have a good company. Or just be by yourself, man. You know, if you can't be around the brothers, don't be around these niggas, man. You know? Like if I saw I said, man, you on your break, man. Don't be hanging around them niggas on break. You know, go about yourself, man. You know, everything, everything in this world is a, a, a opportunity to, to dilute your spirit spiritual fire, man. You know? Yeah, that, that, um, that reminds me of that the parable of the sword, you know. How you got you know, men that'll come in and they'll be like, yeah. Be on fire, you know what I'm saying? Then you got a wicked nigga to come in and say, man, it ain't all that. <laughs> yeah. It's a sword, you know, that's that wicked one, man. Yeah, the mind to tangle you or, or dry you up and, and you know, the, the perils as well, you know? Yeah. You got to be focused. You got to be tapped in and, and whatever it takes, man, you know? You got you to gotta figure out what's good for you and, and give it, give unto it, man, like the scriptures say, man. All right? So back in Second Ezra chapter 9, and um, in verse 7, it says, And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith whereby ye have believed shall be preserved from the said perils and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders. For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Mm -hmm. It's not based off what you do ultimately. It's all based off what the Lord chooses. But if the Lord chooses you, you gonna fire follow his requirements. You gonna have faith and go down and works. You ain't gonna be no motherfucker sitting on sitting on your hands and you because the Lord chose you, you gonna you gonna make it. If the Lord chooses you, you're gonna have a certain demeanor about yourself. Yeah. You know? It says then shall they be in pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they uh, that have cast them away despitefully shall dwell in torments. Mm -hmm. So you can come into this thing and not do no works, not have no faith, thinking that you're just gonna make it off the off the muscle of the most high picking you to, to uh, teach the word. And you, this is you're gonna fall into this category here. You're gonna be a pitiful case because you don't wanna work. You don't wanna do you don't wanna go through the necessary channels. You don't wanna you just, you just wanna You wanna do what you wanna do. Yeah. You wanna have your fun and, and and suffer at the same time. That don't that don't make no sense. You wanna go to work and, and hang out in the break room all day and get paid. Yeah. There's niggas that's like that, that just, they go to work and they bullshit all day and make the whole day hard, man. You know, because technically, the two-thirds are making our our, our uh, process of redemption harder, man. You know, but that's their job. You know? It says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me. Yeah, you receive benefits. You might got a good job. You might got a family, you might got squad goals and all that, and as you're accomplishing it, you're going to this place and that place, hitting this, hit, hit, going on this boat and that boat, or flying here, flying there, eating at this restaurant, that restaurant, you know? Like, you, you're receiving benefits, so, yeah. You know, the scripture says, it's hard for a rich man to go through the eye, eye of the camel, you know? Don't sit there and act like, well, I ain't Warren Buffett. So they ain't talking about me. No, it's talking about the more money you get, the harder it is going to be focused on the kingdom of heaven, man. You know? And they that have loathed my law are the yet at liberty. And when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Yep. The same must know it after uh, know it after death by pain. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you're going to know it. You're going you're gonna to know the the uh, um, repercussions for your actions, man. You're not gonna be able to sit here and just do what you want in this society, especially something that's contrary to the, the, the uh, prophecies and the Lord's will. And think you're going to, not only think you're gonna inherit the kingdom, but don't think you ain't gonna get punished for your doings, man. Everything that the elect does, that's going off, you know what I'm saying, uh, uh, whether intentional or unintentional, we you, you get punished for it. It says no sin goes unpunished, man. You know. Just not might be as stern as another one, but you still get, you know, uh, uh, punished for each sin, man.
You had something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, cause so so it's not like you do what you want. We ain't in control. The most high is in control. The most high sets up rules. We ain't the ones that determine how the rules should work or nothing. That's why he wrote them plain to see. Look, don't do this or this is gonna happen. I'm gonna fuck you up. Yeah, yeah, he said he gonna fuck him up. I'm a woman. You know, so I'm like everybody, you know what it means. You know? That's what Jake do. They try to manipulate it to make it fit them. You know? Yeah, he said he made it plain up on tables, man. You know, they made it too far fetched when like when you when they see man. It's <laughs> not just talking about men, talking about women too. You bitch, you, you females ain't exempt. Um, this, this is what I want to get right here. Uh, this is Ecclesiastes chapter 16 and um verse 11. It says, and if there be one stiff neck among the people, people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy, <laughs> it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. For mercy and wrath are with him. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. His mer as his mercy is great, so is his correction also. He judge judges the man according to his works. Going to it, but I got tied up with something just now. So, I mean, so uh, I'm, going, I'm going to read it one more time. It says, and if there be a, one stiff neck among the people, it is a marvel if he escape unpunished. So that's just like what the brother was saying. The thing, Even the things that we do, you know what I'm saying, it, intentionally or unintentionally, you know, we still have to, we're going to be a judge according to our works, man. That's why I said it is a marvel if he escape, escape unpunished, man. Because the Most High is not a man that he should lie. When he said he's gonna punish a man according to his works, he meant it, man. You know, it, it don't it don't matter. He, he, he did choose a certain of a side of the world, man, to teach his word. He chose certain certain of a side of this world. He chose he has an elect. You know, and we weren't born perfect, man. But guess what? He uh he cleansed us through the baptism of his word, but we still had to be judged according to the things that we did and the things that we still do that we don't know about, man. You know, there, there's no there's no um nobody's exempt. From getting their punishment. And it says, For mercy and wrath are with him, being the most high. He is mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. Yeah, he's mighty to forgive and to pour out displeasure. What you think that is? Man, I'm mad at you. I'm just gonna pour it out in the water over here. No, he's pouring it on you. You know? As mercy as his mercy is great. So is his correction also. He judged a man according to his works. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's, that's plain. You man. get what you deserve, man. Everybody. So that should encourage you. Good. But to believe that means you got to get up and work. That's why y'all believe that all you got to do is call upon a name. Because if you ever believe in something like that, that means you got to get up off your ass and actually put your hands to the plow, man. You know, you don't want to put your hands to the plow, so you rather accept the doctrine that that um caters to your to your uh intentions it's like you know like cursing oh i can give up cursing but you know cursing we ain't talking about you know profound language or, or, or obscene language we're not talking about that you know or, or that's what y'all talking about the bible is not talking about that you know what i'm saying and, and uh, oh I'll, I'll give up cursing and, and liquor and stuff like that or I, I drink every once in a while, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and uh, uh, secular music and shit like that. Yeah. You know, like, like there's things way more impactful than secular music. Which music, all music has a, a vibe to it, man. If it ain't the songs of the most high, even church music got a whole fucking uh, 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 demonic vibe to it, man. That old... Uh, uh, put you in a blissful mind, and oh, everything's okay. Everything's okay. That's what. That's why I feel like everything, everything ain't okay, man. You know, you're supposed to be in a mournful state, man. You don't really, you really hear, you don't hear no church songs that put you in a mournful state, man. You know, we are cursed. The Lord has fucked us up. We need to get our minds right to get out of here. Type of song. You know, what I mean? we pray. That's you're supposed to praise the Most High, but that's all. That's all you know. Doing is, is making yourself feel good, man. Clean, man. You know, you don't want alcohol. You want ibuprofen. You know, put some rubber alcohol on your wound, man. 
I'm trying to mask it with 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 uh, um pain pills. You know. Yeah, telling all that nigga. They don't want. They don't want to, you know, do rehabilitation. They want to get a new leg. You know, just put the amp, the amputee on that man and give me benefits. Have everybody feel sorry for me for it instead of working through it. You know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this is uh, back in the book of Second Ezra nine and thirteen. It says, and therefore be thou not curious how the ungodly shall be punished and when. But inquire how the righteous shall be saved, whose the world is, and for whom the world is created. Yeah, we need to, you need to be focused on how the righteous shall be saved instead of worry about the wicked, because the wicked gonna be punished regardless. You know what I'm saying? So it shouldn't frustrate us, you know, us acting in particular. Let's see wicked do certain things. You be like, man, these fucking niggas, man. You know, yeah. like we already know where they gonna go. You know, we need to be worried about the righteous because. There's things that these right, the righteous men are showing us and exhibiting that can um, encourage us to go in the same direction, you know? Since then, answer I have said, I have said before and now do speak and will speak it also hereafter, that there be many more of them which perish than of them which shall be saved. Like as a wave is greater than a drop. So at the end of the day, we we're supposed to be worried about the elect, man. That's exactly why we go out and we're teaching to the elect. That we don't go crazy when a, you know, when we're teaching a word and niggas say, you know, fuck you niggas. We don't go crazy behind that no more, man. Because like your brother said, this now it's easy to discern who's who. You know, that's a, oh, that's a nigga. He's gonna get destroyed. You know, opposed to somebody that comes up and they listen and they, you know, they taking notes and they really inquire and they really, you know, uh, um, you know, going back and forth in a, in a, um, with sort of etiquette. You know that they have a possibility of being the elect, you know? So that's that's the whole reason we're doing this thing for the elect's sake, man. That's the whole reason the Most High created the world, for the elect's sake. Because niggas ain't going to get it. <laughs> New yeah. niggas ain't going to get it. The world was created for elect's sake, not niggas, man. You know? the, world, the, world, the world really was created for Israel, you know? Yeah. Which, which has to deal with niggas. But right now, this world is created for the elect's sake. The world we're in is for the elect's sake because... The elect is the ones that's gonna um, bring Israel back as a as a whole, you know. Um, that was the, that's it. That. Yeah, yeah. So you know what I'm saying that's pretty much what we'll ended right there, you know. So with that being said, we're gonna give all praises unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakar Kadash, double honest apostles, you know, who rule well, who are GMS, uh, and double honest uh, and blessed salutations to you brothers out there teaching and doing truth and sincerity. You Few women that follow, and uh, may you continue and get stronger in this faith. Um, in, in these dark times and these hard times, may we, uh, you know, seek the Lord fervently. Hey, Shalom. Shalom. Oh shit! It started, but it won't end it. <laughs>